Hey guys, Canonical, the makers of Ubuntu have recently launched Ubuntu 19.04 or Disco Dingo. It comes in with some cool new features such as an upgrade to Linux kernel 5.0, new toolchain features such as OpenJDK 11, Python 3.7.3 as default, etc. However, it is only supported until January 2020, which means 18.04 or Bionic Beaver is still the recommended long-term support version. Now, a fresh installation of 19.04 is similar to a fresh installation of 18.04, which means you can refer to my video where I've shown you how to install Ubuntu 18.04 on virtual machine to refer to the installation steps for 19.04 as well. In this lecture, Let's see how you can upgrade an 18.04 Ubuntu machine to Disco Dingo. So let's head back to our lab system. Now, on your lab system, you can click on Show Applications, then click on Software and Updates, go to Updates tab, and make sure under Notify Me of a new Ubuntu version, you have For Any New Version selected. By default, it is set to for long-term support versions. Once you've selected for any new version, you can click on close. It might ask you for your password as well. So if it does, enter your password. Now, once you've done all this, you can click on show applications again, go to software updater, and the software updater should pick up that 19.04 is available and you can upgrade your system. It does, so let's click on upgrade. Now, it will ask me for your for my password, so I'll type that in. And then it tells me that the release notes can be found at wiki.ubuntu.com slash discodingo slash release notes. So let's click on the link. It is always a good idea to read the release notes of the software you're planning to upgrade to. Now, on the release notes page, you will see some important information such as the support lifespan of the product, Download links for various flavors of Ubuntu 19.04. Upgrade instructions. New features that were introduced in 19.04, such as the new kernel, toolchain upgrades. Desktop has been upgraded to Genome 3.32. Some server version upgrades as well. And at the bottom of the page, you will see some known issues with this version of Ubuntu. Now, this particular section is really important because you want to know any known issues with a particular software and you need to identify if those known issues could impact your productivity or your production systems. However, since we have a lab system, we can close this and we can click on upgrade. This should start the upgrade process. And as you can see, it is preparing to upgrade right now. Then it will set up new software channels, download new packages, install those upgrade packages, clean up the system and restart my computer. So I will pause the video now until it asks me to do something. Here I can just click on start upgrade and close. Here you can just click on replace. And you can click on replace here as well. Here you can either look at the details of the packages which will be removed or are no longer needed and then you can choose to either keep or remove them i'll just click on remove 
and it has started to remove these packages. Now you can click on restart now to restart the system. Here type in your password. And as you can see, the system has been upgraded to Ubuntu 19.04. We can go to show applications to look at the different applications. And you can see that there's a new desktop wallpaper. With this, we've come to the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching. Bye.